The effects of that earthquake that sparked house fires, shut off power, and snapped gas lines in California on Friday are still being felt. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. It's hard to miss a 7.1 magnitude quake like that one. But as News Channel 9's Aaron Cooper explains now, earthquake activity is actually happening here all the time without us even knowing. Aaron. Josh, Latricia, in the wake of last week's California quakes, it had me wondering what earthquakes can look like in our area. So today I met with UTC's Dr. Jonathan Mees, who explained why the earthquakes we experience in our region aren't quite as literally earth shattering as the ones on the West Coast. Dr. Mies studies earthquakes from all over the world. It's always exciting to see the signal and to think about the fact that that signal originates on the other side of the planet. And not everyone knows we have our own exciting seismic activity right here in an area called the East Tennessee Seismic Zone. That seismicity originates very deep in the Earth's crust. It's not associated with the surface geology. And that's, that's, that's one reason it tends to be of less consequence. As deep as 10 to 15 kilometers below the Earth's surface, which is very different than what California experiences. That earthquake was very near the surface, within about a kilometer of the surface, as I recall. Another reason our earthquakes are different from the West Coast is because that coast's crust is fragmented from constant seismic activity. Dr. Mies showed us some of that activity they picked up right here in Chattanooga. That is actually the disturbance of the surface of the earth coming from California. Readings like this are rare for our area and occur every few years, but smaller ones happen here beneath your feet without you even noticing. A magnitude two earthquake occurs is almost a weekly event. You may think these frequent quakes are a bad thing, but Dr. Mies says they serve a purpose. If it snaps after just a little bit of elastic energy has built up, then plainly the release of energy is that much less and the whole situation becomes relieved. But the threat of a big California-sized quake is not off the table. Something of great consequence could occur in the next 50 years. Coming up at 6, I'll show the specifics on how to read UTC's readings from California's 7.1 magnitude earthquake. Latricia. Aaron, thank you. Last year, East Tennessee had close to 100 earthquakes. One of the largest earthquakes to happen in Tennessee was in Nashville back in 2001. That magnitude was a 2.1. FEMA gave us a few tips just in case. Do not get in a doorway. If you're outside, stay away from bridges and trees. Cover your head and your neck and crawl under a sturdy desk or table. If you want to learn more, go to our website, newschannel9.com.